This is a breaking news alert. Breaking news for you now. Tomorrow, 40 million Russians will be evacuating to bunkers for a nationwide emergency drill. The big question now is, what do they know that we don't know? Now, this is not something you're going to hear on the evening news tonight. 40 million Russians, practically the whole of the Russian nation, is evacuating to bunkers tomorrow. According to Stefan Stanford at All News Pipeline, he reported, quote, that the recent story from Pravda tells us that Moscow, Russia, which has a population of about 11 million, is now prepared for a possible nuclear attack upon their country. Now, the whole uh, population of Russia is about 143 million. Now, uh, they state that they, they have enough underground bomb shelters in Moscow for the entire Russian capital, which basically tells us that 100% of the city's population will be able to be protected as a result of new approaches to civil defense. We're also told that their bunkers are completely maintained, stocked, and ready to go should they be needed due to a, quote, man-made or emergency nuclear attack. Now, the official release from Emercom Russia declares, quote, the Emergencies Ministry of Russia is going to organize an all-Russian, all-Russian civil defense drill from the 4th of October through the 7th of October of this year. They state in this uh, release, more than 40 million people, more than 200,000 specialists of rescue and recovery units, as well as 50,000 units of equipment are going to be involved in executing the drill. My friends, this is a massive, massive undertaking. I mean, I have never seen anything like that ever take place in the United States on that scale. 40 million people, that's civilians, will be going underground into bunkers in Moscow. 200,000 specialists, 50,000 units of equipment. That means like uh, trucks and, and hardware will be rolled into this, uh, into this massive exercise. Um, they say evacuation, issuing of personal protection equipment, deployment of sanitation stations, uh, all those individuals will be trained. They say additionally, all protective equipment will be brought up to readiness spec. They say systems for emergency information of the population are going to be checked upon agreement with the regional municipal authorities. Uh, this is all from this is I'm reading their actual uh, press release. It says fulfillment of these tasks allows increasing levels of preparedness of the population senior management and civil defense forces for action during a large scale emergency situation and they state this is during a, a peacetime operation now we do know uh, that there is massive tension massive tension between russia and the united states these days all simmering around uh, crimea and ukraine simmering around uh, the syria civil war of course all the activity in the baltics with nato i mean these are three very specific zones war zones in this on our planet right now now the fact that the kremlin moscow is mobilizing 40 million people now that's 11.92 million just in moscow alone so that leads me to believe that the remaining individuals could be uh, in some of the rural areas of moscow and some of the larger cities as well so this is going to be a huge huge exercise it's going to be going on over the next couple of days and again the question i'm asking you what do they know I mean, what are they preparing for? Are they, are they concerned that the United States or some other uh, nation would strike against them in a nuclear capacity? We do know that, uh, that India and Pakistan, there have been nuclear threats already made public. They are willing to use nuclear weapons in that scenario. Uh, nobody has really taken a side as far as China, Russia, uh, the United States, but we do know that there are alliances, political alliances as well in that region. Uh, and we do know that there is military activity taking place in Syria as we speak, and there's serious tension there. And of course, like I mentioned, the, the rotational battalions that NATO has just positioned in the Baltics. So we're going to continue to bring you uh, the latest information as it becomes available. We'll be monitoring the situation over the next 72 hours. We'll, we'll try to consult some experts as well uh, to maybe bring you some some preparedness advice as well because we got to we got to figure out what's happening here and if we need to take precautions uh, on our side so what are your thoughts comment below subscribe for updates if you like what we're doing give us a thumbs up and share this report for the next news network i'm gary franchi you possess the power to impact the global narrative please share this report and remember for a limited time only this 999 pure silver piece of history can be yours when you visit trump dollar dot us and, to get more videos like this, become an X-News subscriber by clicking the link below.
Thank you for watching The Next News Network.